In yesterday's video, I revealed a stupid simple plan to start earning affiliate commissions in 2023. One of the viewers, which I appreciated, actually commented, well, how do you actually create content? Which was a very good question and I'm glad he asked it. In this video, I'm going to show you a stupid simple approach to start creating content that works for any platform, regardless if it's for YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, you name it, this will work. This is a very stupid, simple, basic elementary approach that you can apply today and start seeing results. So make sure you watch this entire video to learn how to make stupid, simple content that gets views, clicks, and purchases. Hello, my name is Alston Godbolt with AlstonGodbolt.com. I create content to actually help you make money online and not just to put money into my own pockets. And if you want to be added to this globe, simply reply or comment down below with your city, state, province, country, and I'll get you pinned. And guys, don't forget, the giveaway is still on and running. Make sure that you get your comments in, your likes, your follows, your subscribes, from now until December 20th when I actually make the selection. So if you want to learn more about that $500 giveaway, make sure that you check out this video so that you can learn exactly what you need to do. All right, so as I mentioned, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you a very basic approach that you can take to actually create good content. Now, when it comes to good content, most people believe that you need the perfect lighting. I'm using a softbox. People believe that you need to have great audio when in reality, you don't absolutely need to have that stuff. You need to have content that resonates and connects with your target audience. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna do a, a simple process to help you come up with some ideas to create good content. So part number one, this is these are the three main parts that every piece of content should have, regardless if this is a blog post, if this is a YouTube video. In fact, my YouTube video actually had one. Hopefully you saw it. So part one is actually a hook. A hook is something that gets your target audience to engage with your content. For example, what you probably hear me say a lot is stupid simple. Um, if you say easy, stupid simple, step by step, those are words that resonate and connect with anybody and everybody and they realize that, hey, maybe I can do this. You can also use negative keywords like stop or you know some of the other negative keywords that are out there. But the first thing that you wanna do is you, you part number one is to come up with a hook. Now, if we're thinking about, uh, maybe I'm creating content about this Blue Yeti microphone, we could say, hey, here is a step-by-step -step tutorial on the best settings for this Blue Yeti microphone. Or you could even say something like, if you're comparing this Blue Yeti microphone to one of its competitors, you could say, is this Blue Yeti microphone right for you? Don't buy that Blue Yeti microphone just yet until you watch this video. These are all good hooks that get people engaged. So the first thing that you need is a hook. The second thing that you need is a story. Now that story is simply going to pay off the hook. When I do my stories, I actually, if we take a look at the screen here, I do my stories kind of like this. I'll actually make some bullet points and I'll do uh, who, what, when, where, why, and how. All right, and so at the very top, and the, the people that are in my House of Affiliates membership actually have access to this inside to the zero to 1K affiliate marketing workbook, but you're getting a sample of, of some of the things that I, that I give away. Um, what I'll do is I'll put the topic at the top of my sheet. For example, uh, we'll do Blue Yeti microphone versus, um, versus the road wireless go to, I believe. And so what you're gonna do is you're simply going to brainstorm these five questions. Who, what, when, where, why, how? Um, six questions. Who, what, when, where, why, how? So who wants to hear this? Who is this going to be important for? This might be important for people that are interested in buying, in buying the Blue Yeti. Uh, we'll just say blue. And so you could say, you could even use this to help you formulate a hook. So you could say something like, hey, are you interested in buying the Blue Yeti microphone? Don't buy that microphone just yet until you hear how it stacks up to the Rode Wireless Go 2. So you can actually do this for your hook story as well as the final part, which is the offer, which we'll get to. So think about who this is for. These are people that might be interested in getting a microphone. Maybe their old microphone, um, old mic broke down. 
broke and they're looking for a cheaper alternative. So what, what are we going to talk about in this section? And again, I usually will take about 10 or 15 minutes and just try and brainstorm. And again, you can do this for TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. I guarantee your content creation will go much faster if you're brainstorming like this. What do they want to know? What do they want to know? Um, they're going to say maybe what is the cost of the blue? And you might come down here and say, you know, uh, how does the uh, cost of the blue compare to the cost of the of the road? And so hopefully you're starting to see that if you start brainstorming different questions that people are asking, you are going to be able to create better content to help people solve the problem. Uh, maybe where to purchase and the where could actually be our offer is where as well, where to purchase. And what's going to happen is you're going to come up with so many different ideas that your content is going to flow seamlessly. Um, we're going to say maybe like why, why you should buy the blue the blue maybe why you shouldn't buy the blue okay and so again this can be applied to anything but if we look at these questions that we just wrote down while i'm making this video you can see that these are good questions that could help build us a stronger connection with our audience we'll build trust and we can get them to buy so the hook this the hook is going to get people engaged in watching your video. The first 30 seconds of YouTube videos are really important. The first five seconds of TikTok videos are really important as well. The story is going to pay off the hook. So if we're saying, hey, don't get that Blue Yeti microphone just yet. See how it compares to the Rode Wireless Go 2. We're gonna say, uh, we're, maybe we're gonna talk about the price. Uh, we can also talk about when to use, um, when to use the Blue Yeti. Um, we can also come down here and talk about best features, best features. And so hopefully you're able to see that this works. And what I recommend that you do is I recommend that you actually watch content, watch videos from the perspective of what's the hook, what's the story, and what's the offer. Um, if a video is doing well, if it's gone viral, you'll be able to identify the hook, you'll be able to identify the story in most instances, and then the offer. Now, this works if you are in the entertainment niche, so like Mr. Beast, he'll do a hook, story, and offer. This works if you're in the make money online space. As I mentioned, I'll do step by step. I'll say stupid simple. I'll use negative keywords like don't, stop, and, um, and, and, and so on. This works literally for anything, as you can see. If you are in the video game niche, this will work for video games as well. You could say something like, this is why your NBA 2K23 My Player is not progressing to the next level. That's your hook. People are going to say, I want to know why my player is not doing well. And then that story is, again, going to pay off the hook. And then your offer is going to be your call to action to get them to take the next step. And so, for example, if we are... Um, if we are an affiliate, we could say um, we could say something like check the current price on Amazon. Um, you could say you, you could even uh, just go back up to the story. We could say something like here's what here here's what other customers are saying. Uh, but the the offer can be like check the current price on Amazon. We could also do something like um, what I'll do at the end of this video is like now that you know the difference between between X and Y, X and Y, click the first link in the description or go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash start. There's my, my offer. Uh, to learn how anyone can make money online with affiliate marketing without uh, a huge following on social media, um, a large mailing list, um, or spending a dime 
on ads, all right? And so when it comes to the offer, what I like to do, and you'll see this replicated on my landing pages, is I'll say, um, how to do X in Y without Z. That's a very simple formula that you can apply if you're getting people to your landing page, you're giving them a lead magnet. Uh, for example, I have planners. Um, we could say click the first link in the description for free planners that help affiliate marketers earn their first commission without all of the frustration, uh, without spending a dime on ads and without spending a bunch of money hiring gurus. Okay, that could be an offer. But this is how you create content. This is how you create very good content. And if you look at any of my content, I follow this format. On TikTok, it's the exact same thing. It's just that my story might be a little bit shorter. My hook is definitely gonna be a little bit shorter and my offer is gonna be shorter as well. Now, the offer can be also um, join my free Facebook group for more tips tricks and tactics um, it can also be something like hey uh, let let me know down below what you think the call to action is just something to get them to take the next step because if you don't tell people what to do they're not going to do it they're just going to hang out okay they're just gonna go watch the next video, but you need to have a call to action. But again, you can apply this super stupid simple, there's my hook again, stupid simple method to anything. Um, I've used this exact who, what, when, where, why, how for my blog post. Um, I actually teach it in my 60 second business blueprint for YouTube, TikTok, Instagram type content, and it just works, okay? Three, three, three steps. You make a little bit of an outline, spend 10 or 15 minutes, you'll be able to create content faster and you'll be able to create content better. Now that you know how to, and this is my offer, now that you know how to create content better, click the first link in the description for a free planner that helps you reduce and organize your affiliate marketing business. Now this is the exact planners that I use to help me earn my affiliate commissions every single day and I know that it will help you. Also watch this video next because YouTube says it'll help you grow a successful online business. That's a sec second call to action.